Hello everybody, uh, this is Todd. Gonna quickly showcase my um, my um, satellite uh, area. <laughs> um, this arrived about a week and a half ago, and this just arrived today. Um, that is a satellite dish that I've already constructed and is ready to be deployed. I just haven't done so yet. Um, that one's going to go to Hispasat at 30 degrees west, for those of you that know about uh, satellites. This one is a new, it's a C-band dish. It's a four-footer. So, and there's my l and I'm going to showcase it first. So there's my C-band l and it's a uh, quad output. It's, uh, I guess it's not really a lot to look at. I haven't fully assembled it yet. Um, the uh, horn. Uh, I'm going to have to secure this thing because this thing comes right off, but in there, you, you can't see it too well, I guess. Maybe you can, but in there, you'll see the horizontal and vertically polarized stubby antennas that are inside the feed horn. This is what picks up the C-band signals. C-band is much lower frequency. Lower frequency, but longer wavelength. I'm a, also a ham radio operator. That's how I know these things. Um, I knew, I've known about these things for a couple decades. But those little stubby little spikes you see in there are actually the antennas. One is the horizontal. The other is the vertical. And they're vertical and horizontal linear antennas. It's actually a very simple concept. If you think about it um, but I will put this thing back on I'm gonna have to find some way to secure it because it doesn't really fit on there perfectly but I will find a way um, I'm not really sure what this is for I, I really haven't I, this is my very first c-band dish and L and B that I've ever had. So I'm learning. Um, it tunes the entire band. You can see right there. 3.4 to 4.2 gigahertz. It has a 5.15 local oscillator and it outputs down. It converts it down to the 950 to 1750 range. So, but the important thing is it's got quad outputs and well, you can see it's also got an adjustment thing over here on the horn 30 degrees to the left and 30 degrees to the right um, that's for alignment of the horizontal and vertical polarization with the satellite um, this is the scaler uh, c-band lnbs need a scaler uh, scalers help to uh, they help to keep the uh, desirable signals and keep out the undesired signals by creating a phase mismatch in the signal. And if you compare this to a KU band LNB, um, here are two examples of KU band LNBs. Um, this is a standard KU band L and B. You can see its input range 11.7 to 12.2 gig, local oscillator of 10.750, a gain of 60 decibels. Compare that to this. This is another KU band L and B. But this is a universal KU band L and B. You can see the input range is much wider. The input range on this one 
is 10.7 to 12.7. It has two local oscillator frequencies, 9.75 and 10.6, and it has an output range of 950 to 2150. This one has a much larger input capability. It receives a much broader range of input signals. So again, it says 10.7 to 12.7, while this one only does 11.7 to 12.2. So this one has a very narrow bandwidth, and you can see here, just like on the other dish, there is a, a, uh, a thing that will help you with alignment purposes for the LNB. This is in regard, this is because both of these LNBs are linear. They're not circular polarized, so they have to be precisionly aimed to perfectly match the vertical and horizontal polarization of the satellite signal itself. So these are the two types of KU type of LNDs that I've got. Um, here's a third one that's still in its box. And over here, uh, let me move these out of the way. Again, that's the C band. These are the KU band L and B's. But over here, I have a 90 centimeter KU band dish, fully constructed, just waiting to be uh, put in place. Um, but if I turn this baby around, as you can see, it's fully constructed. Um, and this one has a, uh, that one is a universal LNB, which is the same as this one. But this one has one output. This one has a dual output. But I've already went ahead and purchased a replacement for this one and it's a quad outputting LNB. So my KU band dishes will all have quad outputting LNBs when I'm done with them. But you can see that this one has been fully constructed and is ready to be deployed. I just haven't done so yet. Um, so yeah, anyway. That's the KU dish that is ready to be deployed. And again, here again, is the C-band quad outputting LNB. And uh, this is the box it came in, by the way. Um, so yeah, C-band LNB. KU band LNBs. These are all single outputting, single outputting LNBs, and uh, I'm not going to really use these. Uh, they're great to have around. They're great spares. Um, this one, which is the same as this one, came with that dish. This dish shipped with it, but again, I'm not going to use this LNB. Um, this will just simply be a nice little backup LNB in case I need it for any reason. This one is I did, this is the same thing um, because I have another one of these that is currently outside. <laughs>